Hello. Today we are going to make a chain. This instruction is prompted by a question. La Mari Aguera, a balloon twister from Puerto Rico, asked me how to make a part of the bigger sculpture. I don't have permission to publish the picture of the sculpture that uh, the question was about. Well, anyway, I am glad that I was able to help and thanks for the question. Now let's make the chain. Inflate six balloons leaving about three inch flat tail. Make three sets of two balloons in each set. Simply tie nozzles of two balloons in one knot to make one set. In this example I use two balloons of the same color to make one set. I will use different colors to make each set. Hold the sets at the center and put them on top of each other. Basically we are going to do it in the same fashion as uh, described in previously published instruction. Arch 2, chain 2. The only difference is the number of sets that we use. Fold the balloons of the first, the pink set together. Keep the blue and yellow sets between pink balloons. Twist the first pink bubbles in one move to twist the bubbles and lock the free ends at the same time. Fold together balloons of the second, the blue set. Keep the yellow and the pink set between uh, blue balloons. Twist the first blue bubbles uh, in one move to make the bubbles and lock the free ends at the same time. Now we fold together the yellow balloons. Keep the pink and the blue uh, balloons between uh, yellow balloons. Twist the first yellow bubbles in one move. That's it. In this fashion we work the rest of the chain. I'm going to first play this part of the video clip. In this example I twist all bubbles of the same about 6 inch size. We can make uh, the chain of any size we want. We can cut off balloons at any time and tie off the ends. Uh, as well as we can add balloons uh, when we need to make large size uh, chain. We can make uh, different color patterns working uh, in this fashion. The chain is very flexible and sturdy at the same time. We can use it for different sculptures. For example we can make arch, pole, parts of the body. Tail, leg, arms. Alright. Uh, let's make one more chain with a different color pattern. This time I use blue and pink balloon to make each set. Keep balloons of the same color uh, together on the same side. Always twist balloons in the same direction. I like this color pattern. Simple and very effective. Creates optical illusion. Alright, you got the idea. So I can first play the rest part of this video clip. I would call it a spiral color pattern. But as you already know from previous example and uh, from previous instruction Arch 2, Chain 2, it's just an optical illusion. As you may remember from um, instruction Arch 2 Chain 2, uh, we can change easily direction uh, the spiral goes to. It is very useful when we make symmetrical designs. Alright, I think that's enough for this color pattern. So far we have made two chains, two different color patterns. Let's put them next to each other to see the difference. And finally, uh, last not the least, I want to show you the simplest one color pattern. It's done with um, six balloons of the same color. The one color pattern also creates uh, an optical illusion. In one color pattern you may see either spiral or straight line patterns. It all depends on uh, the way you perceive the sculpture. Let's make one more spiral color pattern. I believe it is one of the most interesting color patterns that deserve our attention today. Inflate 18 balloons leaving about 3 inch flat tail. Let's use a rainbow colors for this sculpture. We have to make 3 sets of 6 balloons in each set. 
make each set using the same six colors. Yellow, orange, red, green, blue, purple. Those six colors are used to make each set. Total of three sets. 18 balloons. As you may see, I made uh, three pairs of balloons and then lock uh, three pairs in one set. I think it is easier way than uh, try to tie nozzles of six balloons together in one knot. Now we have to arrange the colors in the same order as we want uh, them appear in our sculpture. In this example it goes like uh, um, red, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange. Now take the second set of uh, six balloons, the same colors, and place it on top of the first set in the same order. So the red goes on top of the red, orange on top of the orange, yellow on top of the yellow, and so on. It is kind of hard to hold so many balloons in one hand. So take your time. It is really important to arrange balloons in the proper order. Now it's gonna get even harder. We have to place the third set of six balloons the same colors on top of the second set. Uh, once again we have to place uh, the same color balloons together on top of each other. Now you have to decide in what direction your spiral is supposed to go, clockwise or counterclockwise. Fold the balloons of the first set together. Keep balloons of the same color together on the same side. For this sculpture we are going to twist all bubbles of the same, about 7 inch size. There are too many balloons to hold in one hand. Use both your hands. Other parts of your body. Call your friends to get help. Before you twist bubbles, make sure to check that uh, you keep balloons of the same color together on one side. As always, the more balloons we use, the more time it takes to make the sculpture. Take your time. As you may notice, I don't uh, hold balloons of the first set at exactly the point where I'm going to twist the first bubbles. I'm just trying to get hold on all six balloons together at first. Then I will uh, move my hands along the balloons to get the grip at exactly the position where I want to make the twist. Ok, finally I get hold on all six balloons. Now it's going to be easy. So once again, uh, we can twist bubbles of any size, but uh, for this sculpture, I'm going to twist all bubbles uh, of about 7 inch size. Here I use uh, both my hands to hold uh, all six balloons of the first set together. Squeeze the balloons in one hand at the point where we want to make twist. And use your other hand to twist the balloons. Make one full turn to place the same color balloons on top of each other. We are going to work the rest of the sculpture in the same fashion. I am going to first play uh, next part of the video clip. Fold balloons of the second set together. Keep the same color balloons on one side. Twisting so many balloons in one move. Uh, is not um, very convenient and probably hard way to do. From my experience it's actually the easiest way to do this sculpture. Twisting bubbles of one set separately from each other um, gives me more headache and it's definitely more time consuming. Definitely I would let you know if I learn any easier ways to twist many bubbles at once and lock them in one lock twist at the same time. Ok, here we fold together balloons of the third set.
twist and lock the first bubbles of the third set. Ok, we have made the first link of this rainbow spiral chain. Keep working in the same fashion to make more links. Ok, um, so as you can see in this and uh, all previous examples, we work uh, in the same fashion uh, to make the chains. We use different colors to make um, different color patterns. But most importantly, we use different number of uh, balloons to make the sculptures. It's important to remember that we can use uh, different number of balloons in each set. And we also can use different number of sets to make the chains. In this instruction, we use three sets of balloons to make each chain. In previously published instruction Arch 2 or instruction Arch 3, we use uh, just two sets to make uh, the chain. Most certainly we can use more than three sets of balloons to make similar sculptures. I think that uh, using uh, sets with different number of balloons in one sculpture uh, creates interesting possibilities of design. Maybe we will cover it in some of the future instructions. Ok, I'm going to finish the sculpture here. Let's cut off the rest of the balloons of one set that is on top of the sculpture. Tie off the ends and hide them between bubbles. Twist the last bubbles of the next set of balloons. All other chains that uh, I have made today uh, in this instruction, I left the ends of the balloons. I didn't cut them off. I did it uh, with single purpose. It makes easier for everyone to see how the sculpture was done. You can see how many balloons I use and in what order I have arranged them. Ok, so we cut off the ends of the second set of balloons and tie off the ends. Now we twist the last bubbles of the third, the last set of balloons. Ok, we can cut off the rest of the balloons. Or maybe just keep them and uh, make funny tails. That's it. Congratulations. We have made the chain. We use six rainbow colors to make spiral color pattern. Once again, uh, working uh, sculptures in this fashion, we can use different number of sets of balloons. Uh, we can use different number of balloons in each set. Here's another example. Here I use three sets of four balloons, four colors in each set. Have fun and happy twisting.